But you've really hurt me, Zoe. But it wasn't the right time or place, and I'm sorry, but it's just not my style. But you've denied our relationship twice now. Once in front of the whole pub, and Yes, then... you put me on the spot, in front of everyone I know. Well, it would be different if I was a man. Well, that's the point, you're not. We're lesbians, and we have to be careful in a place like Emmerdale. Don't I know it? Exactly. And Jan's a case in point. Look how difficult she's managing to make life for you. <laughs> so you're saying it's my fault? <laughs> Because I was open and honest, I deserve what I get from Jan. You're twisting everything I say. <sighs> I feel sorry for you. What? I know exactly why you denied our relationship to my mother. Because you're a coward. That's absolutely rubbish. A coward who's ashamed of what she is. Perhaps you're right. Maybe I am a coward. I don't know what you're hoping to achieve. I'm trying to get back into your good books. But we don't have a relationship, remember? Look, I said I'm sorry. What more do you want? Oh, honesty, commitment. OK. Until the next time the chips are down. I mean it. Don't. I'm going home tomorrow morning. Oh. I think my mum deserves a full explanation from me, don't you? I guess so. And when I come back, I don't want this hanging over my head. What do you mean? It's over between us, Zoe. Tease, please, Mandy. Well, you've done me a real favour coming out. Well, what else have I got to do with my evenings? Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. I keep wondering if that was the reason for Sophie. I fell for because she was there. What, like Everest? <laughs> you no, know, because she was fun and pretty and on my doorstep. Oh, what's wrong with that? It's too simple. You know, you give yourself such a hard time. And so what if it started like that? How do you feel now that counts? I only wish I knew. OK, do you miss her? Yes, yes, I do. Well, then, Rina, better still drive over. I'll miss the dog if I'm away for the weekend. <laughs> I'm going to ask you again in a week's time. Then, then I will give it some serious thought. Mm, steady on. Good morning, how are you? Humble. I don't know how you can bear to talk to me. Why? After what my mum did to you. Oh, that's about her reasons, Linda. Well, you might be able to forgive her, but I never will. She ruined everything between you and Sophie. Well, it doesn't say much for us if all it took was a letter. At least let me try and make it up to you. Oh, yes, how oh, exactly? Mm, night on the town? On me? Oh, and uh, Rachel's coming. Oh. Oh, I'd love to be on call tonight. You were on call, but I uh, booked a locum. Oh? So, that's settled then. Oh, I am glad you're back, Linda. It's been hell not having you around to make all my decisions for me. I still don't see why we had to come all this way just for a drink. We could have gone to Pollard's. No, we couldn't. At least we could have walked home. Uh, Zoe. You've no right to do this. Well, someone had to. The pair of you are so pig-headed, you never seen each other again. Well, that's up to us, isn't it, Linda? Not you. I think we'd better go. Anyway, the table's booked now. Be pity to waste it, wouldn't it? <coughs> Have fun. See ya. So, how have you been? Fine. You? Busy. Could kill Linda for this. Well, you'll have to wait in line. So, should we look at some menus? I'm starving. Excuse me? Yes. Can we see some menus, please? Yes, Sammy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you sorry Linda did it? This is it. No. Mm. Mm. I missed you. Why didn't you come and get me? I thought about it. You even got into the car once, but I couldn't go through with it. Because you weren't sure about me. Because you weren't sure about me. How can you say that? 
You left, didn't you? Yes, but you did nothing to stop me. You denied to my mother that we even had a relationship. How could I stay with you when you were so ashamed of me? That's not how it was. No? I'm the only girlfriend you've had. So? So? Being with me would have changed your life. I'm resigned to the gossip that never quite been accepted. That's not a decision I can make for you. Nothing lasts forever. Why can't we just enjoy what we had? Didn't have to get so complicated. Oh, is that my fault? Look, let's stop thinking ourselves into the ground and get on with having some fun. Don't want to come back. What do you think? check this morning. Is this a veterinary surgery or a late? You're mad at me. I didn't ask you to interfere. I didn't want you to interfere. But she's very glad you did. Oh, you <laughs> rotten! <laughs> oh, nice to have you back. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Betty, it's not a recruiting drive. <laughs> very smart. And then there's something in wedding etiquette about looking more stunning than the bride. So oh, hello. <laughs> James will be pleased to see you. Good, because I've missed him. Yeah, well, we've all missed you. Oh. This just a visit, or are you back for good? No, I think I'm back for good this time. Couldn't stay away from the little terror. <laughs> no way to refer to your employer. Not while she's in the same room, anyway. <laughs> so, don't suppose it's you two getting married and no one's bothered to mention it to me? Lord Oakwell. Ooh, la de da. <laughs> Alex isn't like that. No. Is Chris ready? I'll go and check. So, when are you back with us, Sophie? Um, tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow's wonderful. Good. <laughs> okay, see ya. Don't worry. I'm still thinking about him. I'm sorry. David. The last wedding. Getting dressed up like this brought it all back this morning. I wish he could see his son. He'd be so proud. Yeah. So you're, um, not frightened of being seen out in public with me then? Couldn't be happier. Rachel, can we have a bottle of champagne? Sure. Nice to see you back, Sophie. Thanks. I won't get drunk, I promise. What, with loud declarations of love to anyone who'll listen? Exactly. <laughs> as drunk as you know. Oh. Making yourself at home? <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to be really happy here. Oh, well, you'll want this one put in away then, won't you? No. Moving a photo is not going to change the past anyway. It's me she wants to be with now. Oh, I find I can't keep up with the goings and comings here sometimes. Well, I'm really pleased you're back. It's the happiest I've seen Zoe in ages. That was Steve. He wants to see me. Oh, what about? Well, home farm business, I expect, but I can always make an excuse if you've got other plans. No, I've got to go to work now anyway. And I'll tell Kim about moving in here. Do you think she'll mind? Well, as long as I put the hours in with James, my private life's my own business. Even if some people don't think so. Sophie, I'm really sorry about what my mum did, you know. Linda, it wasn't your fault. Anyway, in the end, things turned out just how we wanted. 